Yet another attempt on the Channel Crown, this time by the teenager US schoolgirl Shirley Mae France, who entered the water in the darkness of the early morning at Cap Rinet after waiting for 37 days. Escorting her was the convoy of small ships with a battery of American reporters and photographers on board. And also flying above her an observation plane, while messages were sent to the shore by carrier pigeon posts. Words of encouragement reached Shirley from her father as she battled gamely on in the strong currents. Hey, honey! Hello, girl. How do you feel? The further she got across, the more the broken swell and ruffled waters proved an increasing hindrance. Yet she pluckily continued the fight. But the channel proved master in the end, and when, about eight miles off her goal, Shirley was forced against her will to give up, having been in the water for ten and a half hours. As the exhausted Shirley came ashore at Dover, accompanied by her father, holidaymakers warmly cheered the gallant young loser from across the Atlantic, who had unwillingly succumbed to the relentless challenge of the sea. <laughs> 